up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the Late Night Massacre, where no one is safe, and we have some news on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre front. Um, I just want some gameplay already, man, but we're getting some information on um, now, really, how this whole entire match starts. Now, obviously, this is three versus four. You have three killers and, and four survivors. You have the cook, the hitchhiker, Leatherface, and obviously, you have Sissy, um, and you have Johnny as well, the two new characters in the game. Interesting enough, we actually had information. Um, a picture was actually, well, a photo was revealed to us um, probably a few days ago last week, something like that, which was really interesting. Now, this is a picture of uh, the hitchhiker. And from what it looks like, uh, from what the Texas Chainsaw Massacre official Twitter handled, they did put out this news saying, the minute a match starts, each family member has a job to do to fortify the property. Like the hitchhiker, here supplying some 12-volt juice to one of the cattle grid exits. Now, that's interesting because now we know that, yeah, the killers are going to have to fortify things. Now, what the hitchhiker is doing here, and this was actually said by uh, the, text, uh, the Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw Massacre Twitter feed as well. Um, you can't drive vehicles. There's no drivable vehicles or anything like that. It's not going to be like Friday the 13th in that matter because someone asked about the vehicles, and there's none. Um, seems like he's turning on the electricity to an exit gate or just a gate in general that you can't escape. So if... If he, if someone is this character and forgets to do this, um, can you, can a survivor walk out of this map that easily? Um, which is kind of crazy. We all know that all the survivors start out in the basement. Now with Leatherface, um, if he is going to fortify things, um, maybe Leatherface is going to set up those like those bone looking things that make noise when you walk through doors because I know that uh, those are in the game those make noise and as a survivor you can actually um, cut those off so you don't make any noise uh, you know those dangling bones that are from the roof that hang down uh, so when you walk through them they, they alert everybody in the house uh, but um, the electric gates or electric fence or whatever he's turning on is probably going to be a big deal in this game to where maybe if they forget um, to fortify this as, um, like I said, all of these killers are going to have, they're going to fortify different things. They're all not going to do the same thing. So it's going to be in your job, whatever character you are between the cook, Leatherface, um, or the hitchhiker to fortify the main areas that it probably will tell you what to fortify or where to go to, uh, fortify certain things. Uh, and this obviously gives... Um, the survivors time to escape or to kind of spread themselves out through the house, I think, which makes a lot of sense when it comes down to it. Um, what I really do like, too, um, they did show us the map. We, we've already seen the map already um, on this. Uh, this is the whole entire map of the house and outside the dark, the really dark areas around in the house. That is the entire basement. They did say that that whole entire area is the basement. And from what we've known so far, Leatherface actually starts out in the basement. But because of these fortifications that are going to be so important in this game, um, it will give survivors time. So if we need to know what the fortifications are, we don't know all of them. They haven't discussed anything. We, we've only seen this picture uh, of the hitchhiker. Um, other than that, we don't know what the fortif what what Leatherface fortifies, what the cook fortifies. We don't know what the fortifications are going to be for those characters. And and the hitchhiker can have more than one fortification anyway, but they're all going to have different fortifications. They're all not going to be able to do the same thing, which definitely makes sense and makes it a little bit harder. And it's going to cause more teamwork, which is a good thing. So, um, if and, and Leatherface starts out in the basement, you know, so if he is close and what if Leatherface doesn't put up fortifications, does it 
Can he get early kills? I doubt it. Okay, because that would they would just make it way too easy if Leatherface, if you're Leatherface playing the game, yeah, I'm not going to fortify anything. I'm just going to go straight in the it's right in the basement, go find them and get to them so easily. So I think they're going to try to do something to where it's not going to be too easy for Leatherface if he starts down there. Uh, that that's what's going to happen. So the all those dark tunnel spots, which there are a lot of them in the middle right there, um, those. Are that is the whole entire tunnel as of right now, which are or the basement, I should say. That is the whole entire basement, which is a big basement. There's gonna and they said there's gonna be tunnels. There's gonna be a lot of different things down there. So it's gonna be really interesting, guys. And we're getting little nits and bits of uh, just how you know what the gameplay sounds like. I mean, I want to actually watch a whole entire match to see you know how this whole thing you know on both sides, since we know that as the killers you are in a in a killer queue. Um, so it's not like they're gonna pick ra a random three people to be the cook, the hitchhiker, and Leatherface. Like you can actually go with two other buddies and be, hey, let's be some killers tonight. Go into a killer queue and then get right into the game, and and that's it. So it should be a lot of fun. But it's nice to hear that um, the killers have a lot more to do than just hunt people down, um, you know, and knocking doors down or crawling through small spaces or planting traps. They have to fortify the house, so it makes it harder for the survivors to escape. And I think that's what's gonna give the survivors a little bit more time to escape. I think from what I've heard, you start out on a hook in the basement. Everybody does, and everybody is pretty much like 50% healthy down there. So you're starting to stagger. I don't think you're even walking straight after that. So you're hurt almost the whole entire time. So um, like I said, it's going to be really interesting. Like I, I can't wait. I mean, it's it's going to be a release this year in 2023, but uh, to even hear about the beginning of the match, um, I want to hear about how you escape. I know there's a door. I know there's there's an electric door or something you have to open. Uh, there is a, I think I heard of a mini game that you have to kind of play to get out of there, which is going to be easy, medium, hard. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, you know, so to see all this in motion, um, to see both playthroughs from the killer's perspective and the survivors is going to be a lot of fun. And obviously, I'm getting straight to the killers as soon as I get to this game. I'm hopping on this game to be Leatherface, the hitchhiker, uh, you know, the cook, si uh, you know, sissy or Johnny regardless. So that's what I'm here for. The Survivor should be a really fun thing to do as well with a bunch of friends. So um, until we see more of this, I mean, we're getting, they said they're going to be releasing things very slowly, but hopefully uh, we get some gameplay really soon. Like I said, I don't think this game is releasing until like Christmas time, unless it's Halloween to Christmas time. That's all I can really say. I wish there's a summer release. It'd be really nice to play this in the summertime, but we'll see what happens down the road. But to know about the basement, how big it is, all these killers that have to put up their own fortifications that, you know, if one killer has put up their fortifications, it could be a weak spot for other players to escape as the survivors. So I think they're going to make it very well balanced to where it's not, there's going to be no trolling or there's going to be some type of trolling somewhat in this game. People will find out how to do it. But when it comes down to it, guys, it's going to be a really good game. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. And um, I like how they're, they, they're, they're putting a lot more detail into gameplay. It's not just about graphics and how it looks, but how it plays is going to be where it really uh, you know becomes very successful and how fun it's going to be doing it over and over again. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the beginning of the match, what I explained, the tunnels, the basement, how big it is fortifications you let me know uh, what you guys think about that and uh, we'll be back on the next one you guys keep running and peace out peace